Hello, everybody. We are continuing the Debilitated Planets Masterclass, and today we are talking about the moon. Uh, moon is a planet that gets debilitated every month. So uh, it is the one most often debilitated, and also uh, we can find it in the chart and experience it by transit. Hello, I'm Camilla, and uh, we are talking about a moon in debilitation as part of the Debilitated Planets Masterclass. And uh, let me remind you to subscribe, press the bell notification, and also to appreciate you very much uh, for uh, uh, subscribing to me and listening to me. I am at this moon temple today is Monday and it's beautiful in a very remote area you can see and, uh, Uh, thanks. And uh, so we are talking about uh, moon in debilitation. So moon's uh, debilitated degree is three degrees of Scorpio. And why does moon get debilitated in Scorpio? You see, moon is generally a fun, loving planet. It travels uh, quickly through the signs. It wants to have uh, fun, enjoy life, uh, experience different things in life. It represents our mind and how the mind is uh, very um, excited about new things. It's new house every day, new nakshatra. Uh, so uh, when it comes into Scorpio, it needs to transform. And that is not something that the moon wants to do. There are many things that a Scorpio moon can be attached to and find it very difficult to give up. Even though they want to transform, they want to change, that uh, fixed quality of Scorpio uh, makes it difficult for them uh, to uh, change. Uh, so if you transform and don't think everything you have to give up, but uh, you want to give up a few things, then that is good. Moon in Scorpio can also be uh, very attached to uh, people, to relationships, uh, can get obsessive, uh, <clears throat> emotionally very stuck in certain ways. So uh, think about the free flowing waters and to try to flow uh, with your energy and don't fix yourself into situations, ideas. It's not physical fixidity, it's more mental, it's more internal. Now, moon is debilitated at three degrees of Scorpio. And if we take the full three degrees of Scorpio, uh, moon is debilitated uh, in Vishakha nakshatra from z three degrees to th three degrees 20. And Anuradha nakshatra 322, uh, end of three. So that means that it is spanning two nakshatras. And moon is also debilitated in its own pada if it is in um, the la first pada of uh, Scorpio, last pada of Vishakha, and uh, the pada of uh, Anuradha is uh, Leo. So that debilitation of the moon is between fire and water signs. And if you think about the Gandanta energy, that is also between fire and water. So if uh, you have your moon at the exact degree of debilitation, that means three degrees of Scorpio, you need to look at which pada it is in uh, and uh, where, which nakshatra also it is in. But generally you would say that uh, moon in Vishakha is more complicated than moon in Anuradha. Anuradha is one of the 
uh, soft, uh, beautiful areas of uh, Scorpio. And generally, moon in Anuradha is considered a very nice moon to have. Moon in Vishakha, so whether it's in Libra Vishakha or Scorpio Vishakha is the uh, debilitated nakshatra of uh, moon. So uh, you have to be conscious of it. And then, of course, generally we say, that moon in Scorpio is debilitated. But as I said, three degrees after three degrees, moon is moving away from debilitation. But in Scorpio, if moon is in Jashta nakshatra, which is after 16 degrees 40 and to the end, then you can have a moon also in Gandanta. And Jashta can be quite stormy. Uh, because it is fighting our inner demons, it is overcoming our inner demons. And as we go towards the end of Jashta, then the mind can be uh, very uh, stormy by nature. And it is so important for you, if you have moon in Scorpio, to uh, do some yoga, to do meditation, to do mantra, because that will help you a lot in dealing with your own emotional storms. You know what uh, you feel, what you feel internally. Uh, it is important to uh, also help yourself. And moon, especially, all of us need uh, to help ourselves with the moon. And uh, sometimes if you are stuck in a situation or stuck in a way of thinking, then you have to see how little bit I can change it, I can transform it because that will help you. Secondly, uh, usually for the moon, <clears throat> you want to see, is it a full moon? Is it a new moon? What is the tithi of the moon? So there's a lot of other things that will inform the debilitation of the moon. Uh, if you're born, uh, say, in... Um, June, approximately May, June, when sun is in Taurus and moon will be, uh, can be full moon. And that is not a weak uh, moon in Scorpio. Uh, so the strength of the moon also depends. It's the only planet in which we have to see uh, the tithi uh, waxing, waning, how uh, bright it is digitally uh, to understand the quality of the moon. And then, of course, what house he rules for you. And, uh, you know, so that house can be weak. As I said, moon also health factors with the moon. Mostly with the moon, it is the mind. Moon also has a connection to blood and uh, blood uh, problems with blood, but mostly it's the uh, unsettled thinking or too uh, rigid thinking that can be the problem with moon in Scorpio. It's so rigid and unsettled, you know, that's a type of aspect. So that's why I said that doing mantras, doing also maybe being very conscious of the food you eat. And one very good remedy for moon in Scorpio is to give a food donation. Uh, so Anadan, Bhandara, these are the two names for it, but where you are giving auspicious feeding, donating food, you can donate to a food bank, to your temple, to the Gurdwara, to any other church, any place. Uh, you can think about donation and that will be very helpful for the moon. Now, moon in by... Um, Transit uh, debilitates once a month and it debilitates for two and a half days. And I watch that. I don't make videos of it because it changes so quickly. But every um, month I will watch uh, the moon's debilitation. And a few years ago when Saturn was in Scorpio, then moon would come into Scorpio and meet Saturn as well. So uh, it would be double aspect. Uh, and generally, uh, I don't plan any major events or activities with moon and Scorpio because it is a debilitated uh, sign of the moon. Uh, but uh, in uh, Anuradha, it's considered quite good, but uh, Vishaka and um, Jashta uh, for planning. So remember, it's a difference uh, when you're planning an event or what you have in your chart. What you have, you have to work with it. But what you are planning an event, you can change the energy. <clears throat> so, um, you know, watch out for it because you can feel the quality of moon in Scorpio at that time. So that is the <clears throat> cancellation of debilitation 
for the moon is also if you have a full moon and it's in Scorpio, it is not considered uh, debilitated. <clears throat> then uh, Mars is the debilitating cancel because he's the lord of the moon. Uh, sometimes you may have uh, Mars in cancer, moon in Scorpio, both debilitated, uh, but uh, they are in Parivartana Yoga. But then you have to see what houses they are, Parivartana, exchanging signs. Aspect of Mars on the moon, a moon-Mars combination. If Mars is in Scorpio, moon is in Scorpio, Mars will lift the moon. But it can make you very fiery, take on Mars type of qualities, but it, Mars will cancel the moon. Uh, Mars in uh, Capricorn also cancels the moon. Mars in Aries also cancels the moon. And I think that for moon, it is important to do uh, mantra practice, regular food eating habits, and also go and walk in nature. Uh, and that will also help you, uh, especially if the mind uh, gets obsessive and stuck in a certain situation, then uh, you want some way to move your energy. So don't stay in that position, move it so that you become stronger and calmer with it. And I would say that moon uh, is debilitation can be very transformative and uh, spiritual because you want to transform, you want to change. So I find that uh, people with Moon in Scorpio are very um, divine energies and they can be very high thinking as well. As long as you think about what is your weakness that is blocking that, uh, it, that will help you a lot. So that's it for today. Thank you very much. Do remember to subscribe and I always appreciate you. Thanks. I met this. Moon Temple today is Monday and it's beautiful in a very remote area. You can see. And, uh,